Short inspirational stories are powerful reads. The great thing about them is that they're so easy to digest and there's always a moral at the end of the story. Whether they are true stories or not is another thing, as many of them are legends supposedly hundreds of years old. However, the stories that I'm talking about are so powerful and inspirational that many of them really do get you thinking and even leave you speechless at times. I've been reading plenty of these stories in the past couple of weeks and found the lessons behind them truly wonderful. So I've decided to write out this video highlighting the 10 most inspirational stories of heart. Next to the subheadings, in brackets, I put what the story lesson is all about, with a short description of the moral of the story at the end of each section. At number 1, Life is but a dream. A mouse fell into a half a tank of rice and was delighted. After checking that there was no danger, he ate the rice and fell asleep immediately. Such is life, and he ate and slept in the tank for a while. But as life goes on, the rice is fast depleting, and finally he finished all the rice. It was only then that he realized that jumping out is only his dream and everything is not within his control. Moral of the story? Our life may seem peaceful, but dangers are lurking everywhere. Number 2. Looking at things from another perspective. A wife was cooking in the kitchen and the husband was at the side, constantly talking. Cook slower, he said. The next minute, he chided, careful, your fire is too big. Take the fish out and flip it over. You've also put in too much oil. The wife is frustrated and turned to say, I know what I'm doing. Of course you do, darling, say the husband peacefully. I just want to know the feeling I get when I'm driving and you're beside me chirping away. Moral of the story, it is easy to learn how to appreciate others if only you know how to look at things from their perspectives. Number 3. Be the best that you can be. There was an old carpenter who was going to retire, and because his boss could not bear to let him go, he asked the old carpenter to build a house before he left. Although the old carpenter agreed, his heart was already not on his job. He used lousy materials and the house he built was one of his worst projects. When the house was ready, the boss told him that it was his parting gift to him. The old carpenter was saddened and ashamed to learn that the house he built was actually for himself. Moral of the story Everything we do in life, we are doing it for ourselves, so we must make sure we do the best we can. Number 4. Let go An old man dropped one of his new shoes out of a speeding train. When the other passenger thought it was quite a waste, he threw out the other shoe. The passengers were shocked. The old man explained, no matter how expensive this pair of shoes is, the remaining one is now useless to me. So why not just throw out the other shoe so whoever picks them up will have a pair of shoes to wear and use? Moral of the story It is better to give up whatever is making you miserable in your life rather than hang on to your problem and make yourself more miserable. Letting go could be a better solution. Number 5. Think for others One day, a little rabbit went fishing and caught nothing. The next day, he did the same thing and also caught nothing. When he went on the third day, a big fish jumped out of the lake and shouted, If you dare to use carrots as fish bait, I'll kill you. Moral of the story If you use what you think is good for others and not what others want, you are only living in your worthless world. Number 6. A merry heart is the best doctor. A doctor went into surgery to treat a patient with cancer. When he opened up the patient, he was shocked to find the tumor so huge that it was impossible to remove, so he sealed up the patient again. When he tried to explain it to the patient, the patient who was from a rural village could not understand and firmly believed that he was healed. The doctor could not do anything and let the patient go home. After a year, the patient came back to the hospital all healed. The doctor is now taking his doctorate in psychology instead of continuing his doctorate in medical studies. Moral of the story? A merry heart is the best doctor. Number 7. Don't let a good opportunity slip by. A man sat waiting for a friend at a coffee house when a girl walked in and asked, Are you the one that was recommended by Auntie Wang for matchmaking? The man lifted his head and saw that the girl was the lady of his dreams and decided to play along. Yes, please sit down. And so they got married and on the day of the marriage, he confessed that he was not there for matchmaking that day. The wife replied, Neither was I. I just need an excuse to talk to you. Moral of the story, don't let an opportunity slip by. Catch it without hesitation. Number 8. Don't envy others. T. 
two tigers, one was in a cage and the other in a wilderness. Both thought that their plight was bad and each admired the other's situation and finally decided to swap positions. Not long after, both tigers died, one of hunger and another died of loneliness. Moral of the story, we are always not satisfied with our situation and envy others when actually other people are envious of our situation. Number 9. Good, Better, Best There was a poll among the female students to choose the Xiao Hua or class beauty among them. Xiao Mei, who was a plain looking girl, said in her campaign speech, if I'm chosen, after a few years, you can tell your husbands that you are prettier than the class beauty when I was in the university. She won the campaign. Moral of the story, when other people support you, it's not because you are better than others, but it's because others feel that they have become better because of you. Number 10. All the differences in the world. Every Sunday morning, I take a light jog around a park near my home. There's a lake located in one corner of the park. Each time I jog by this lake, I see the same elderly woman sitting at the water's edge with a small metal cage sitting beside her. This past Sunday, my curiosity got the best of me, so I stopped jogging and walked over to her. As I got closer, I realized that the metal cage was in fact a small trap. There were three turtles, unharmed, slowly walking around the base of the trap. She had a fourth turtle in her lap that she was carefully scrubbing with a spongy brush. Hello, I said. I see you here every Sunday morning. If you don't mind my nosiness, I'd love to know what you're doing with these turtles. She smiled. I'm cleaning off their shells, she replied. Anything on a turtle's shell, like algae or scum, reduces the turtle's ability to absorb heat and impedes its ability to swim. It can also corrode and weaken the shell over time. Wow, that's really nice of you, I exclaimed. She went on. I spent a couple of hours each Sunday morning relaxing by this lake and helping these little guys out. It's my own strange way of making a difference. But don't most freshwater turtles leave their whole lives with algae and scum hanging from their shells? I asked. Yep. Sadly, they do, she replied. I scratched my head. Well then, don't you think your time could be better spent? I mean, I think your efforts are kind and all, but there are freshwater turtles living in lakes all around the world. And 99% of these turtles don't have kind people like you to help them clean up their shells. So no offense, but how exactly are you localized efforts here truly making a difference? The woman giggled aloud. She then looked down at the turtle in her lap, scrubbed off the last piece of algae from its shell and said, Sweetie, if this little guy could talk, he'd tell you I just made all the difference in the world. The moral? You can change the world, maybe not all at once, but one person, one animal and one good deed at a time. Wake up every morning and pretend like what you do makes a difference. Based on what we think is worthy, if you have more stories, feel free to share them with us, share them in the comments below and wait for our interesting topics coming soon. If you think they deserve to be on this list, share your opinion in the comments below.